Hi, I'm Jessica from MeTime. Today we're going to talk about the trifold projects in your Return to Bethlehem project, specifically the hinges on the shepherds and the buildings. Once again, I'm joined by Noelle, and she's going to help us walk through it. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here again. So these fun trifold pieces are something we haven't seen before, and we like that they can stand up on their own. So we've used leather and a dowel to create hinges so they'll stand up by themselves. So Noelle, tell me about how we put these hinges together. Yeah, so the first thing you'll notice is that, is that these hinges are not attached in the same way on the buildings and the shepherds. So I'm gonna take this apart just to show you. These dowels just slide right out, which is really nice. On the back of this, you'll notice that you can see the leather here. And I'll show you on the buildings, you'll notice that you cannot see the leather on the back of this. That's because of just how the projects went together. It works better to do the leather this way on the shepherds and the magi, and then this way on the buildings. Um, for the buildings, the leather is sandwiched between the felt and the fabric on the front. And on the shepherds, it's just attached to the back. Thanks for walking us through that, Noelle. Can you show me how to line up the leather pieces in my hoop? Sure thing. So I have already stitched the shepherd out through step 21. It might be kind of hard to see my placement lines, but I promise they are there. They're just little, um, they're like a little L shape on the right side of the stitch out. Okay, so I've flipped my hoop to the back. Um, and what I want to do, you can see the placement lines here. I'm going to take my leather hinges and I'm gonna fold them in half with the wrong sides together so that the leather is on the outside. And then I'm going to place this edge so it lines up with this line here, like this. And then I'm going to tape it in place so that it doesn't move like that. And then I'm going to take my other one, do the exact same thing, fold it in half and place it. So this edge, the folded edge lines up with this side of the placement line. And then use tape once again to tape it in place. And you'll notice I'm taping it so that the, the jagged edges of the tape are on the top and bottom. And that is because if you'll notice here, it's a lot easier to rip the tape this way and it tears in more of a straight line this way than if I were to try and rip the tape this way. It's just really hard. So that's a little tip for taping on the edge. On, on lines because the stitching will go this way. So now I'm going to take this hoop over to my machine and stitch step 22. Okay, now that I have stitched everything, I'm going to remove the tape on the back. And this is where you'll see the magic from taping straight up and down. I'm going to rip the tape from the top down and the whole thing just comes right off, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about picking out tape in between those stitches, just comes right off. And then I'm going to trim these little tails, remove the project from the hoop. You're going to trim, I like to first trim away the stabilizer just so that it doesn't get in my way. And then you're going to trim about an eighth of an inch away from this outer edge. But here's the tricky part. You do not want to trim these hinges because those are what's going to hold the whole thing together with the other shepherds. So I'm going to trim, I'm just going to show you this part right here. I'm going to make sure on the back that my blade 
is not going to cut off that hinge right there. And then I'm gonna measure about an eighth of an inch away from the edge here. And then once I get close again, I'm gonna show right here, make sure the blade is not going to get the leather and trim like that. And I just like to trim all the way up so that I have a clean space to work with. Then you'll do this, the same thing going around the rest of the project. Just trim. Okay. Once the project is all trimmed, you're going to take a cotton swab and make it wet. And you're just going to brush the edges of that to get the stabilizer out. Um, another Little tip for this, if you are a little bit too lazy to do that, kind of like me, I just take the edge of this and run it under water, just a little stream of water, just run it over the edge right there. And that helps a lot too. Um, and that just will dissolve all of the remaining stabilizer on the edges. You don't need to worry about soaking the project so that the stabilizer comes out of this part of the project because that it doesn't matter that won't show in the end we just want to get the stabilizer out of the edges thanks noel for all those tips i can see that it's actually really easy to make these trifold pieces how do you put them together that's a great question i am excited to show you how to do that you're going to this is in part four of the instructions so I'm going to lay them out in order. This is shepherd one, this is shepherd two, and this is shepherd three. And they go in that order when you're putting them together. So I'm going to take a dowel and a little trick to getting these dowels to go in the first time is you're just going to kind of shimmy the dowel in here and all of the different leather hinges just so that it can kind of stretch out and be the size that it needs to be. So I did that with these two. I'm going to do it with this one just to show you. And they slide in pretty easily, but you just want to make sure that they're going to slide in easier when they're put together. So I kind of like to do it one at a time. So I'm going to do this one first, and then I'm going to put this guy in between right here. And I'm going to slide it in. And then you can see it's coming out the top. So I'm gonna make sure that's all lined up. And there you go. There's that. And then, so I'll just do it with the other side. Gotta make sure those holes are going to be wide enough. So I'll shimmy the dowel in and then put this one in here and then line it up here and put it through the last top one. So there's that. And now you can see it will stand up. If you angle it a little bit, they all stand up together. They turned out great. Now we know how to attach the shepherds. How about for the buildings? Is it different? So they're pretty much the same. I'll show you a few of the differences that they have. Once again, I'm gonna point out that the leather is attached between the fabric and the felt instead of on the back of the felt. Um, just something to point out as you're stitching this, the fabric, uh, as you're attaching the fabric, you, make, you wanna make sure to not cut these leather hinges, kind of like I showed when I was trimming the shepherd. You want to make sure that the leather hinges are out of the way so that they stay intact as you're attaching them. And then putting the, putting the buildings together is pretty much the exact same thing. You just slide the dowel in and make sure that it all lines up and then it's all pretty and now it will stand. Thank you so much, Noelle. You can find the stabilizer and the scissors in the store at metimedelivered.com. Thanks for watching.